Here are some of the areas where hypnosis and imagery can enhance sports performance. It can reduce performance anxiety, remove self-made limitations or blockages, increase self-belief and confidence, facilitate better visualization and mental rehearsal, positively reframe and release past negative experiences, increase motivation, remove any negative thoughts before, during, and after competition, and replace with positive thought, enhance healing from injury and promote return with intact confidence, and lastly, improve specific skills by practicing mental rehearsal techniques. Your first step is to determine how you want to use self-hypnosis and imagery. If your goal is to work on a specific skill, then become familiar with what that skill looks like by breaking it down into its components. This is called biomechanical analysis. You can do this with your coach or another athlete, or better still, see if you can do this by yourself. Have someone video you while you are performing and then compare and contrast your performance with an elite athlete. Nowadays, it's very easy to find pro athletes performing on YouTube or Vimeo. There is also an abundance of coaching and educational videos on the same platforms. All of these are invaluable learning tools and create exceptional mental pitches for your imagery. Once you have done this analysis, write down the way you want to see yourself performing. Incorporate and activate as many senses as possible in your description. Record this dialogue and replay under self-hypnosis using the Spiegel eye roll technique. This will allow for disassociation and the ability to magnify in detail your recording. The trance state typically happens within 10 seconds and creates a highly relaxed and receptive state of mind. You can also try this hypnosis technique now by simply following these directions. Sit in a chair, looking directly in front of you. Without moving your head, look upward towards your eyebrows. Now upwards again towards an imaginary spot on your forehead. While continuing to look upward at the same time, slowly close your eyelids. A good visualization for this is to imagine closing your eyelids over your eyeballs. The amount of sclera visible, which is the white of the eye, between the lower eyelid and the lower edge of the cornea, is the most practical measurement of hypnotizability. If your eyes start to flutter, you may be experiencing what is known as REM state or rapid eye movement. You may also notice a change in body temperature and a tingling sensation in the extremities. Neither will be pronounced.